Are you thinking about moving to Reading, or maybe you're just kind of curious about what life really is like here all season round? Well, you might be surprised how diverse our climate really is. I'm Faith Barrett, and welcome back to Rooted in Reading. Today, we're going to talk about how to live life in all seasons. So let's get started. Now, when most people move here, they always ask, Faith, how's the weather? I won't lie that the summers are pretty brutal here with dry heat, high temperatures in the triple digits. But one of the best things about Reading is that we're the second sunniest city in the United States and one of the sunniest cities in California. I know, kind of crazy to believe, but it's pretty cool. So summers spent here are out on the lake, by a pool, hiking, fishing, biking, you name it, it's all outdoors because we have over 250 days of sunshine, giving you that ultimate great outdoor lifestyle. Now, if all you heard out of that was dry heat and triple digits, let me reassure you, not all months of our summer is spent in triple digits. We usually see a peak in those temperatures around July and August, still making the summer pretty enjoyable. All right, let's talk about one of my favorite seasons here, which is spring. The flowers are blooming, the birds are chirping, the temperatures are cooler. You might experience a high of 70s throughout the day, which is just perfect. And the real only negative thing that I have to say about spring is obviously allergies. But other than that, in my opinion, spring is one of the most enjoyable seasons of Reading. Now let's talk about fall and winter. I'm gonna combine the two because they really go hand in hand. Now, as we get to the tail end of the year, October, November, we really start seeing the uptick in rain. Now you might've seen that back in 2021, we went through a significant drought in the state of California. However, 2022 and 2023, we've received a significant amount of rainfall, allowing our lakes to be full, snows on the mountain, helping our place flourish once again. All right, let's talk about the cons. Most people come to me and say, does it ever snow in Reading? Now, I used to say it never snowed in Reading until Snowmageddon. Now I tell somebody when they come to Reading, you might experience a little bit of snowfall maybe once or twice during the year. Now, if you're somebody who's like, I want snow, I need to go snowboarding, skiing. Well, don't worry. 60 minutes north, we have the closest ski resort, which is Mount Shasta Ski Park. If freezing temperatures is a concern to you moving to our area, well, don't worry. On average, the lowest temperatures you'll experience during the winter months is somewhere in the mid thirties. With everything that there is to do in the summer, there's just as much to do in the fall and winter, like the harvest festivals, haunted houses, holiday festivities, which is just really special to see our community come together and thrive. So whether you're drawn by our sunny summers or our gentle winters, Reading offers a climate for all tastes. So if you're looking to make a move in Reading, hit that subscribe button, like this video, and follow along our journey of Rooted in Reading, where we not only help you find a home, but a community to thrive in. We'll see you next week.